Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my previous uh, few videos, I uh, started uh, the concept of PN junction diodes and I think I have posted about three videos related to that, uh, the basic introductory concept. The first one is introduction to PN junction diodes where I discussed about the concept of uh, forward and reverse biasing along with the basic definition. Then I discussed about the volt ampere or voltage current characteristics of PN junction diodes and the equivalent circuit model representations of the PN junction diodes. So in the next uh, few videos, we will be discussing about the applications or the uses of the PN junction diodes or the semiconductor diodes. What are the various use or in which ways uh, we can use the PN junction diodes in the day to day applications in electric circuits. So uh, in today's video, we will be discussing about uh, rectification in general and the half wave rectifier. Okay, the circuit of half wave rectifier. So first let us uh, understand what are the various applications of the diode or the PN junction diode. Now the PN junction diodes uh, are used for various purposes in many electrical and electronic circuits because of its unique property to conduct current only in one direction. If you remember it is unilateral, it is a unilateral device. It means that it allows flow of current only in a single direction. Now, so these are the uh, uh, some of the applications of PN junction diode. As I said, the first one is rectifier. Now, what is rectification? Rectification is the process of conversion of AC supply into DC, a certain level of DC. Then we have is the voltage regulators. So voltage regulators uh, are used where we require a constant voltage supply. Okay, we do not want the voltage supply to fluctuate. So where we require a constant voltage level uh, for driving a circuit, there voltage regulators are used. Here the concept of Zener diode will come into play, which we will be discussing in a separate video. Next we have is clippers. So as the name suggests, clippers are generally used to cut out or to remove uh, a certain portion of a signal waveform, okay? to cut out, to remove, to eradicate a certain portion of a signal waveform. So it is clear from the name clippers. Then we have clampers. Clamper circuits are used to uh, amplify a signal. Okay, to amplify or to raise the voltage level of a signal. So these are clamper circuits. Then we have voltage multipliers and voltage doubler circuit which are basically used for amplification of uh, the signal waveform, the voltage. So these are uh, some of the applications of PN junction diode which we will be discussing in separate videos in detail. In today's video, we will be discussing about the basic concept of rectification and the half wave rectifier circuit. So first, rectifiers or the process of rectification. So as I said earlier, the rectifier circuits are used to convert AC into DC. So a question might be popping up in your head uh, that uh, why do we need to convert AC into DC, what is the requirement? Now we all know that uh, the electric supply that we get in our homes, in our house is uh, of this uh, configuration, 230 volt standard voltage and uh, a frequency of 50 hertz. So it is a alternating voltage with which alternates at a frequency of 50 hertz. But DC is constant voltage, flat line, okay, it does not fluctuate. So 
there are many appliances, electrical appliances that we use in our day-to-day -day lives which require DC power to drive them. We cannot operate them with AC. If we try to operate them with AC, they will be damaged. Okay, they will burn out. Their circuits will be fried. So, they need to be operated with a certain level of DC, a certain DC voltage means constant voltage, flat line voltage. So, for that reason, rectifier circuits are used. Generally, they are inbuilt in these electrical appliances. Okay? So, these rectifier circuits, they convert the 230 volt and 50 hertz AC supply into the required DC level. Normally, uh, 5 volt and 12 volt DC is used for various applications, but there can be other values as well. But generally, uh, 5 volt and 12 volt DC is normally used. So, the basic uh, concept or the definition of rectifier is clear to you, I think. So, the rectifiers are electronic circuits which convert AC into DC. Next, the types of rectifier. Generally, there are two types of rectifiers, half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier. Full wave rectifier is further divided into two subcategories. Uh, one is the center tap full wave rectifier and the bridge type full wave rectifier. We will be discussing them in the full wave rectifier video. For now, you just keep your focus on the half wave rectifier. Okay? So, what is a half wave rectifier? So, let us first understand some of the theoretical concepts associated with it. Then we will go to the circuit diagram and the mathematical uh, representation. So, in half wave rectification, uh, the rectifier conducts only during the positive half cycles. Okay, we know that uh, the AC signal, okay, the AC signal looks something like this. It consists of the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. So, in half wave rectifier, it conducts only during these positive half cycles, okay these positive half cycles. It does not conduct during this negative half cycle. As you can see, it gives output only during these positive half cycles. Okay, we will uh, we'll come to this part. So, in half wave rectifier, the current conduction takes place only during the positive half cycles of the AC input voltage. Okay, the AC signal waveform, which is fed as input. No current conduction takes place during the negative half cycle. So, the negative half cycles are suppressed or attenuated. As a result of this, the current flows through the load, load resistance which is generally used across which the output is taken. The current flows through the load resistance in one direction only, okay, in one direction. So, whenever there is current flow only in a single direction, it means that that voltage, that output is DC. Okay? DC means current will always flow in a single direction. If it travels in both directions alternatingly, it is AC. But as here, it is flowing only in one direction, it is DC. So, you will, uh, will understand how this thing works in the circuit diagram. So, this is the circuit diagram of a half wave rectifier. So, let us first understand uh, the individual uh, parts of the circuit. First we have is the AC supply which is 230 volt and 50 hertz, the power supply which we get in our homes. This AC supply is fed to the transformer, the primary winding of the transformer. Generally, a step down transformer is used. The step down transformer converts the 230 volt AC into a lower voltage level. Basically, it is generally it is 12 volt. 230 to 12 volt step down transformer is commonly used, but it can be of other configurations as well as per requirement. But the general configuration is 230 to 12 volt because 12 volt and 5 volt DC are the normal DC voltage requirements for various appliances. So, it, ha it is a, a step down transformer. So, the AC supply is given to the primary winding which converts it into 
a lower voltage level basically 12 volt across the secondary winding 12 volt AC okay 12 volt AC. So, one end of the secondary winding of the transformer which we will call as point A is connected to the P type end or the positive end of the PN junction diode okay a PN junction diode is used the P type end is connected to the point A or one of the uh, ends of the secondary winding while the other end is connected via a load resistance to the other end which we will call as point B of the secondary winding of the transformer. So, the load resistance uh, uh, we take the output the DC output across the load resistance uh, RL let us say. Now, how this thing works? Hmm? How the half wave rectification takes place? So, let us see the circuit behavior. Now, first we will uh, analyze the behavior of the circuit during the positive half cycle. As I said, positive half cycle is this portion of the input AC waveform, okay. This portion, only this portion is called as the positive half cycle. So, during the positive half cycle, the top end of both the windings of the transformer, that is the point A of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes positive, while the bottom end that is point B becomes negative during the positive half cycle. Okay? Be careful about that. During the positive half cycle point A, the top end becomes positive while the bottom end becomes negative. As you know, this P type end here gets connected to A which is positive, while the N type end is connected to here which is negative. So, as I said as I have discussed in the forward and reverse biasing concepts of P n junction diode in my previous video, whenever the P type end will be connected to a higher positive potential than the N type end, the P n junction diode will be forward biased. So, forward biased P n junction diode behaves as a short circuit. Okay, it offers a short circuited path. Okay. So, as this is short circuit, a current flows through the closed loop, a current flows through the closed circuit in this direction through the load resistance. Okay. Current flows in this way, current I flows through the load resistance in this direction, which gives us an output voltage. Okay. So, this is the output which we get the DC voltage which we get across the load resistance. So, how the short circuited uh, the for PN junction diode is forward bias again the P type end the positive end is connected to this positive terminal the winding while the N type end is connected to the negative because during the positive half cycle A becomes positive and B becomes negative. So, the diode behaves as a short circuit and a current flows through the closed circuit and flows through the load resistance and we get the DC output voltage. Next, during the negative half cycle means this portion of the waveform, okay. the negative half cycle is this portion, this portion of the waveform. During the negative half cycle, the polarities they get interchanged. The point A or the top end of the winding, the secondary winding becomes negative while the bottom end becomes positive. So, in this condition the P type end is connected to the negative terminal while the N type end is connected to the positive terminal. So, in this case the P type end is at a lower potential than the N type end. Okay? So, when this happens the diode is reverse biased and a reverse biased diode behaves as a as an open circuit, okay, it gets open circuited. So, as a result of this open circuit, no current flows through the closed circuit, okay, there is no flow of current in the circuit. As no current flows, the output voltage across the low resistance is 0, 0 volt. So, we get no output, 
So during the negative half cycle, no current conduction takes place. This was the definition of the half wave rectifier. It conducts only during the positive half cycle, okay, because the diode becomes short circuit because of forward biasing. And during the negative half cycle, it is reverse biased and gets open circuited, so no current conduction takes place. So this is how the circuit works for a half wave rectifier. Now, the input and output waveforms. So this, as I said, this is the input AC waveform, the 230 volt and 50 hertz. So during the positive half cycle, there is uh, a voltage output that we get across the load resistance, while during the negative half cycle, there is no voltage output. Again during the positive half cycle, we get a voltage output and again during the negative half cycle, there will be no output. So uh, another important thing, this output that we get is a pulsating DC. It is not a smooth DC because smooth DC is flat. Now, in another video, I will explain how this pulsating DC is converted into smooth DC, that is almost normal flat line DC. We will, actually, we never get a completely flat DC, it is almost flat DC. So, for that, a smoothing capacitor is used, okay. A smoothing capacitor is used, which is generally of the electrolytic type. It has a high discharging time constant that helps in smoothing the pulsating DC. So, we will be discussing that in a separate video, but for now just understand that current conduction takes place only during the positive half cycle and half wave rectifier which gives us output, voltage output during the positive half cycles only. Now, this is pulsating DC. It is not normal DC, it is pulsating DC. A smoothing capacitor is used to convert this pulsating DC into smooth DC. Now, the output frequency of the half wave rectifier. Now, from this input and output waveforms of the half wave rectifier, you can make out that for one complete cycle, okay, for one complete cycle of the input AC, one complete cycle of input AC is from here to here, okay, from here to here. Again, here from again from here, another cycle starts. So, for one complete cycle of the input AC, we get one complete cycle of the output DC, pulsating DC, okay. So, for one complete cycle of the input AC waveform, we get one complete cycle of the output pulsating DC. During the negative half cycle, there is no output, so it constitutes one complete waveform, okay. Because this portion is absent, so it does not make any sense, it does not uh, make any difference. So, for one complete cycle of the input, we get one complete cycle of the pulsating DC output. Again, from here, as one complete cycle takes place, we get one complete cycle of the pulsating DC. So, from this, we conclude that the output frequency is the same as the input frequency, because for one complete cycle of the input AC waveform, we get one complete cycle of the output pulsating DC, okay. So, we the output frequency is the same as the input frequency. Next is the efficiency of the half wave rectifier. Now, the efficiency of any device, we can define in terms of output by input. So, here also in half wave rectifier, we get DC output while we give AC input. So, the efficiency will be DC output power by AC input power. Now, there is a, a whole derivation how we derive this, this expression that we have just written here. So, I will be uh, posting that in a separate video because it is a lengthy derivation and cannot be accommodated in a single video. So, for now just note down this uh, formula and uh, this value. I will be posting another video where I will derive this complete expression, how you get this expression because it is a lengthy process. So, the efficiency of a half wave rectifier is DC output power by AC input power which is 0 0.406 by 1 plus RF by RL. Now, here 
this RF small r subscript small f is the forward resistance of the diode. I already mentioned about discussed about the forward resistance in the PN junction diode introductory concepts video. So please check out that video. So forward resistance concept I have discussed which is the ratio between the forward voltage and the forward current during forward bias connection. So that is the forward resistance and RL is the low resistance. So this is normally about 40.6 percent because this ratio RF by RL is very 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 less as compared to 1. So it becomes negligible right? and it is neglected. So it is 40.6 percent the half wave rectifier efficiency. Now we will derive this expression in a separate video where from start to end how this uh, expression comes about we will discuss that because it is a lengthy one and it cannot be covered in one video and because I have I have to discuss uh, I have discussed a lot of other these things so it cannot be accommodated in one video so it will take a separate video. So this is the efficiency of the half wave rectifier you please note down this expression. So here we have discussed about rectification in general what is the basic definition of rectification that is to convert AC into DC. The rectifier types half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier then we discussed about the half wave rectifier uh, that is it conducts only during the positive half cycle we discussed about the circuit diagram the circuit behavior during positive and negative half cycle and the input output waveforms comparison and uh, the input and output frequencies and at last the efficiency of the half wave rectifier. So I hope you like this video and in my next video I will be discussing about the concept of full wave rectification and the two types of full wave rectifiers that is the center tap full wave rectifier and the bridge wave uh, a bridge, rect bridge type full wave rectifier along with the circuit diagram, circuit behavior, efficiency and mathematical expressions. Uh, the associated mathematical expressions. So please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.